It's Wednesday, October 16, 2019, and it's good to feel the morning sun on my skin. Uh, it's uh, around uh, 6.15, and uh, uh, this is my second day uh, back in my walking routine. People could not just quite understand what the Supreme Court ruling was all about in the electoral protest of former Senator Bongbong Marcos against Vice President Leni Robredo in the 2016 vice presidential elections. First, the Supreme Court voted to release the initial findings of the uh, committee of the Manual Revision Committee uh, chaired by Justice Benjamin Kagiwa and directed uh, both parties to comment on the same. Vice President Robredo is claiming that uh, this is a victory for her because the recount shows that Bongbong Marcos failed to make a substantial recovery, meaning the number of votes deducted from her total was not substantial enough to show that it could overturn or reverse the outcome of the vice presidential uh, race. But, on the other hand, the Supreme Court ruled to dismiss the motion of Vice President Torredo to dismiss outright the protest case filed by Marcos. So what does this mean? This means that the protest case filed by Marcos is still very much alive. The Supreme Court could take much longer in ruling whether or not there is basis for Marcos to ask for the nullification of Robredo's proclamation and install him as the legitimately elected vice president of the country. I would bet that most people are talking about the uh, Supreme Court uh, decision or non-decision regarding the um, election protest of former Senator Bongbong Marcos against uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo. Well, I think at issue here is the term uh, substantial recovery in the number of votes after the manual revision was completed for the three pilot provinces, Iloilo, Camarines Sur, and Negros Oriental. It should be remembered that one issue uh, that was uh, tackled by the manual revision committee chaired by Justice Benamin Kagiwa was the shading threshold which uh, the Kagiwa committee ruled should uh, should follow the 25 percent uh, shading threshold and not 50 percent as contained in the rules and procedures one of the core issues here is the uh, the one of the core issues here is the is the phrase uh, <clears throat> substantial recovery in the number of votes. If you will remember, uh, there was this issue about the uh, shading uh, threshold uh, where thousands of ballots were found to have just mere scratches uh, which uh, barely made, uh, which barely covered 25% of the small, small dot. Uh, across the name of Lenny Robredo. The Kagiwa committee ruled in favor of uh, Robredo who claimed that uh, the threshold should be at uh, 25%, while the Comedic rules uh, and uh, procedures uh, said that it should be a minimum of 50%. And in fact, there was massive uh, there was massive information uh, campaigns done uh, before the 2016 elections in which uh, in which the 
the manner of shading was demonstrated and it was very clear that the intention of the Comelec uh, was to have 100% of the circle, the small circle, uh, to be shaded. But then thousands of ballots counted in favor of Robredo. The shading was uh, barely 25% of the uh, circle and this allowed her to to claim uh, several thousand uh, votes while Marcos had contended that this should have been deducted from, from her uh, total number of votes because they failed to make the uh, threshold level of a minimum of 50 percent. So to me, if uh, you consider that uh, the 50 percent threshold was reduced to 25 percent, I think uh, that uh, that uh, enabled Robredo to basically uh, get more votes than she deserved. And the manner the circles were shaded would indicate that uh, these were done haphazardly, uh, perhaps by only a few persons, uh, so that uh, we can arrive at the conclusion that there was appreciating done uh, before the elections. So this would prove the so this would prove the allegation of Marcos that there was a massive fraud that attended uh, the voting. So I think this is an area which uh, the Supreme Court, which uh, voted to which voted to continue with the case, considered and overruled uh, the chairman of the manual recount. Uh, of the Manual Revision Committee, Justice Kagiwa, and the other uh, justice who voted to dismiss the complaint of Marcos, uh, Justice Antonio Carpio, uh, that they want to, that the Supreme Court, that the Supreme Court wants to really dig deeper uh, into the allegations of massive cheating, because the will of the people could have been thwarted by these alleged irregularities uh, in the 2016 uh, elections.